So, good afternoon. It is a beautiful moment for me to take part in the Ubumunhu Art Festival, the annual culture buzz of Rwanda. I'm really glad that Israel takes finally an active part in this celebration of music and dance with the participation of six companies from Israel. In such a challenging age of weakness, fear, and uncertainty, art in all its forms, be it performing art, the film industry, contemporary or traditional music, poetry and literature, and even the arts of cooking and fashion, bring us all to places of escapism, imagination, and dreams, which are so critical for the human soul, especially now in the corona times, and particularly in Rwanda. A true and real rebirth of, and, and recovery of a nation from the scourge of darkness, violence, and death depends on the creation of a sustainable and diverse multi-aspect life of culture, sport, and leisure. Israel has shown such a recovery 25 years after the end of the Holocaust. And as for Rwanda, this is the time to do it. Invest in art, music, dance, fashion, film, museums, and galleries, which will strengthen the unity and resilience among Rwandans. This will show the maturity of its people in their own views and the views of millions who will be coming here to, to visit Rwanda and, and from all con, con, corners of the world. Meanwhile, we are very fortunate to have our Hope, Hope Azeda, and her team bringing us the dreams and beauty here and now through the internet. This year, we, we meet virtually and breathe through fiber optics. But next year, we shall meet physically and breathe the clear air of the beautiful hills of Kigali. The Israeli dance is one of the most fascinating films of, fields of art in Israeli culture in which a vibrant activity of original dance works take place and is widely recognized by the public around the world. Vertigo is a contemporary dance company offering a physical meeting place for artists and audiences. Vertigo takes, takes the viewer every time to a new and unexpected, exciting and challenging journey into unfamiliar territories. It represents international standards of artistic excellence with the social and community touch. We see Vertigo as a messenger of Israeli art, as ambassador of the art in its best, at home and abroad, that comes to bring people closer together and touch them through the language of body. The community branch of Vertigo includes, includes the dance school, the Vertigo workshop, and performances for every community, including the disabled, out of the belief that the dance language of Vertigo is unique, yet universal, and challenges the limit of the body. The birth of the phoenix, which we will see in a, in a, in a moment, takes place, place outdoors, like the phoenix, appearing and disappearing in different places. Cho choreographed by Noah Wertheim, Birth of the Phoenix is performed inside a bamboo dome. The dancers enter the ceremonial solemn solemnity, wrapped in red blankets resembling ceremonial robes. They take their places, kneeling beside the circle. One man slowly removed his covering and enters the circle to lie on the ground, his naked torso touching the earth, an image of death, but at the same time, a rebirth. And so it begins. What, what takes place inside the circle 
you will experience yourselves. Is it a rebirth of a man or of a nation? Now stop. Breathe and live the beautiful moments of the story of humanity from Israel. Thank you, Ubu Munhu. Thank you, Hope, for letting us dream for better tomorrow. Thank you. It's a really exciting period for me. It's the first time in Jerusalem, this incredible city. And we're going out and bringing the birth of the Phoenix. me in the last 17 years since we created Birth of the Phoenix here in Jerusalem, just a few kilometers in our beautiful studio, to recreate ourselves again and again, die like the bird, and recreate ourselves again and again, bringing this say of renewal. in life after this incredible experience of Corona we have to start again from a new place we have to see the nature we have to respect the earth that we are dancing on asking from ourselves as human beings to recycle, recreate ourselves, learn and be modest and really do whatever our inner will wants to start.
and I really want to ask here in Jerusalem, this incredible special place, into the rest of the world to learn something new from this period, this incredible time. It's an opportunity for us to do a tiny change from within into the world.